Kevin here with the Southern Fried Horror Show, and we are in Lenore, North Carolina, checking out Tiny Terror Con. In between enjoying all the cool things that Tiny Terror Con 2023 had to offer fans, I got the opportunity to chat with actress Anna Clary, who discussed her deep love for the craft of performing, how she prepares for her roles, and what we can expect from the Mutilator 2. I've always been interested in theater. I grew up going to a lot of musicals, plays, stuff like that. Um, so that really instilled a love of performing arts in me. Um, but I think what was like kind of a big moment of me being like, I want to do movies, um, was actually when I was pretty young. Um, I just remember watching Anne Hathaway in like Ella Enchanted and The Princess Diaries. And as a small girl, I, uh, I had this whole thing where I was like, oh, you can't be a princess in real life, that sucks. But I had this realization where I was like, but you can be a princess in a movie. Um, and of course, since then, what I want to be in movies has definitely changed a lot, but I would definitely still like to fulfill that for my childhood self. Um, but yeah, getting to see um, someone get to be something that is so out of their own personal life experience kind of started it. Um, and that kind of remains what I love about um, acting in film is you get to be so many different things. You get to experience so many different experiences and really step into the shoes of so many different possibilities. Um, so it's, it's really cool. Well, I think the real draw with roles in horror movies is Something that's unique about a horror movie is it, it can encompass um, pretty much every range of emotion possible. I mean, you have the laughter, you have, of course, the trauma and fear, um, but there's some that have extreme sadness, extreme joy, um, and it's just such a realm of possibilities, of emotions, of, you know, little human things to dissect. Um, and then the product is always just super fun. Who doesn't like getting bloody? Um, but yeah, it's, it, it really does have such a wide realm of possibility for an actor. And I think that's something that isn't acknowledged among, like, among the horror world, um, just how diverse it can be. I would say I live it is, is kind of my way of doing it. Of course, the, you have those experiences in your personal life that you can draw on. Um, but my acting method across the board has always been to live the role. Um, not so much um, full method where I live the role in my day-to-day -day life, but from the moment action is called up until the moment cut is called, I am not myself anymore is kind of how I approach it. Um, but I definitely, for more intense emotions, stuff like that, where you have to dig deep, I definitely take a couple minutes before I kind of disassociate sometimes. So I always tell people, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be quiet for a minute. I'm okay. I'm just getting ready. Um, but I'll take a moment sometimes before and afterwards um, for like the real, the real deep kind of hard to process emotions because I'll put myself in that actual emotional state. Um, I've gotten pretty good at um, stepping in and out, like completely. Um, definitely for um, some more intense stuff. Um, in one of my films, like it, the character had some pretty traumatic backstory, um, so there were some pretty intense emotions to display in that. On top of you know a lot of fear, like just true raw fear, um, which can be a lot to experience if you really put yourself in that emotional state. Um, but I'm never happier than when I'm on set. So even, you know, if I have to do a really sad scene or if I have to cry or if I have to do something that's, you know, pretty dark, um, even if I'm still kind of feeling that emotion, um, the people around me really just, you know, bring me out of it. Just being in that environment that I love so much um, is, is usually enough to to put that smile back on my face. Yeah. 
I would say, um, especially after when the trailer came out and seeing everyone's guesses on what was going to happen, uh, expect the unexpected. Um, I don't think anyone is going to even be 50% right necessarily in their predictions for this film. Um, I don't want to give anything away, but it's, it's really cool the angle that they took with this long-awaited sequel. And um, honestly, I'm extremely honored that I got to be a part of it. It was an amazing experience. Um, it really brought me into the horror world. Um, I mean, I've always loved the genre, and slashers are pretty much my relaxing movie. Um, but to get to go into this world on screen um, and just do something for a genre I'm so passionate about, um, they really gave me that opportunity by bringing me onto that project. Um, I still, like to this day, I'm like, I can't believe I got to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for everyone to see it. I too wish I could have been at the premiere, but um, I think it's going to be pretty big. So Coffin Tooth um, is a project I'm extremely passionate about. Um, I really had to um, go to a very wide range of emotions in this one. Um, and it's one of the performances I'm, I'm very deeply proud about um, on my part. Um, when I read the script for the first time when I was auditioning for it, I uh, fell in love with the role just reading the script. I was, I was in the mindset of, I have to get this one. Um, and I put a lot into that audition. Um, and it, it was just a blast to shoot. It's how I met Bobby, got into um, working on Grandma, stuff like that which was shot on video. I mean, it's really cool to bring that back at, um, in this time. Um, so I'm very excited for both of those. Grandma turned out exceptional. I highly recommend it. Um, upcoming, um, two of my next projects are going to be Night of the Dead Sorority Babes, um, which I'm, I'm excited about the ideas they have for my role in that one. Um, and then I'll also be doing uh, Bobby Can uh, Knipe's uh, uh, final inning. Um, I'm pretty excited about that because it is going to give you a classic slasher. Um, it's it's going to be a really fun one. Um, it's shooting on a baseball field, which is pretty unique environment. Um, so I'm pretty excited for both of those projects upcoming. Um, and then the Woodman should be coming out soon, and that's uh, that is uh, found footage. Um, and I have an acting bucket list, as I'm sure everyone does. Um, so it was cool to do that because a found footage film was on my bucket list and it was a it was a An interesting challenge. It was the first time I had to cry on camera So that was that was a fun challenge hurdle to, to take the leap over 